Ambrose, um, the fight everybody's wanted to see for a long, long time. A word on both fighters and how you expect it to go. Yeah, well, uh, I suppose in some respects I'm uniquely placed or positioned because having worked extensively with both, both fighters, um, first things first, it's a fight what everybody wants. And nobody wants this fight more than them two. You know, the antipathy between the two of them is palpable standing there watching it but this takes us back to the good old days when fights were were made on the basis of the demand for them demand you've seen it here with the media conference normally it's taboo to do a, a, a fight press conference the first week in January it's just one of those things you don't and you've seen here you couldn't move you know for media people so hey listen good times Huge interest, as you say. Um, let's talk about that for a minute. There's a lot of boxing on this year. A lot of players in the market. Good or bad thing for the sport? Have we reached saturation? Or are we in a place where the punters never had it so good? On a scale of 10, we're not even on three. Saturation, I can't see it, I can't feel it. And the reason I say this is 38 teams in the Premiership, well, 38 games are played by teams in the Premiership. And so it's one of those, is there too much of a demand? No. These brands that are football clubs have marketing divisions and the marketing divisions go out into the marketplace and try to create a re solid return path. So it's nowhere near. It's more a case of you know, heightened awareness than it is saturation point. Nowhere near saturation point. Not okay. Um, I don't know, I wasn't here for um, part of the press conference, but my cameraman tells me it was suggested that the winner doesn't really have nowhere to go. I don't believe that in this day and age, so many options. But with Chunky having had so many tough fights of recent, firstly, what type of man's going to come out to face Eubank on uh, the 23rd of February? And what have those fights taken out of him, in your opinion? Well, first things first, let's, let me just say it as it is. James Egal is the most talented, talented athlete I've ever been associated with. And I've been associated with a few people. His skill is unbelievable. But God helps those who help themselves. And if James goes into this fight with utilising all his strengths, and Eubank does the same, it's an intriguing matchup. But James's skill set exceeds that of Junior. And we saw that in the George Groves fight where you got stuck in a rut. Now two or